So I start to believe that we have to touch the things, but not listen to what this means, what it's about. But we have to touch it, we have to use it, we have to go with it. So after I do this, I find that my world is much more bigger, much more real. So that um, when I see in the garden, uh, there is some musical in the gardens, and I find that every teenager is very happy together. I start to thinking, uh, what is these teenagers when they go home? Are they share the same happiness? You know, when they see some something is really happy together in one place, the place gives them the equals. But when they find great, uh, I find that there are thousands and thousands of differences. So I want to talk to them because I want to know because they are the future of us. So I want to know how they feel the world. So that I just ask. Uh, I, I have this project, so that South Bank asked me to do something. I think this is the project. So, you know, they are carrying a lot of uh, teenagers, a lot of thought. But I think, should we do something different? Then we let the teenagers to talk about themselves, but not we are talking about them. Yeah, your voice. Yeah, your voice. What is the environmental concern? What were the environmental issues that prompted you to think about making that? I have no idea because when I go to um, Norway, uh, I find that my friends is doing the documentary of the nature. Um, what we're thinking is the nature is beautiful. Everybody say nature is beautiful, or everything is good in nature. But when I see their photographs, it's not that beautiful because we have so many classes, so many things. Uh, we found it in the dead body of the uh, And I see the northern pole. They're looking for food. Right? Before they end in the mountains, they're waiting for fish to, to have eat, but they don't have anything to eat. Um, I see more and more, even in the storm in Hong Kong, I find that there, the, when the storm go, go away, the whole floor is garbage, but the garbage is different from what we had before. So that I found that maybe they have an ocean of memories coming back. So I want to ask a 25 avant-garde uh, designer to put something different from this project. Uh, we do something for the, the memory of nature. Um, we find everything from the sea coming back is what we done. But before we done, we have meaning, we have function, we have the names of it. But after the water, during several years, I become, you know, there are no names, just a form. So I, I write 25 story to let them think about um, what is fashion. And I find that uh, for myself, it's, it's really go back to the beginning of thinking about what is people, what, what do we need and what is the cost of our yeah. So you wrote the 25 stories which were reflected in the costumes mm -hmm. that the designers collaborated yes. with you on. Fantastic. And then you gave the teenagers um, the ideas and the things behind these stories and you asked them these four questions and asked them what they thought of their world and what their world would be and that's how the the triangular approach came together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. um, I'd like to invite some of the designers who have collaborated on this project.